market that the U.S. Federal Reserve is going to have to act again, possibly cutting rates as many as two more times before the end of the year. Let's get some instant market reaction to this developing story on the U.S. jobs picture. Alan Nuckman, as you see on your screen, the chief market strategist at Agora Financial, and he's joining us from the CME in Chicago. Alan, thanks. Good morning. Um, what's it been morning, like John. there? How, 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 what's been the reaction been like? Well, it's been quite a week. It's been obviously yeah. quite a couple of months, quite, quite a couple of years. Uh, and you got to be careful what you wish for. So, you know, there have been people out there, and, you know, I can just say it, the president uh, has been demanding uh, rate cuts. And we've seen enough chaos and enough uncertainty that we're going to have to cut rates. So, you know, what happens from here? But uh, it, it's, it's dangerous times, in my opinion. I'm still very positive and very bullish because I don't think there's much choice uh, but to put money into equities. Uh, with interest rates at these levels, but I think we're playing a dangerous game. Um, maybe elaborate on your worries of a dangerous game. What, what, what exactly do you mean? Well, I mean, this this is this has created chaos. This was intentional uh, to you know have a, a certain level of uncertainty in the marketplace, and this can be easily solved. I mean, this was self-inflicted. It can be self-corrected as far as you know we've got the trade wars and everything else that's happening uh, here in the economy, but. You know, we've got the global slowing, and, and I think this uncertainty has been what's pressured, um, you know, the, the growth here in America and in investment uh, of corporations. You know, they don't know what the policy is, so they don't know how to act. And so it's a self-fulfilling prophecy, and it's, it's a, a, unfortunately a circle that needs to be broken. And, and this does get a little bit confusing. I mean, literally, we just showed the, the U.S. futures. They're higher right now. People might look right. at this, this headline and say, what Wait a minute, markets are up, uh, jobs data was worse than expected. Um, clearly the U.S. Federal Reserve seems to be at the center of this story this morning. Uh, last hour we spoke to Tim Quinlan, he's a senior economist at Wells Fargo, and he made his concern is that if the Fed is in a, uh, a position right now where they are cutting rates and they're moving back towards um, you know, the levels that we saw before they started hiking in the first place, does that leave right. the Fed with um, so-called bullets um, exactly. if, if things get worse? So how do you think the market's going to treat interest rate policy going forward? I mean, stock market investors. Well, it's, it's, it's more of a judgment of, you know, the way that it's happening for a lot of people. Um, yeah, if we didn't raise rates when, when everything was, you know, uh, when the economy was booming, uh, when can you raise rates? Right. Uh, there, are, there are people that obviously have their own special interests where they don't, they want lower interest rates and they want to juice the economy. Um, you know, is is that fair or not? The Fed should be impartial. So that's a whole nother issue. But from what I do here, I'm all about price. So I try and focus on price, not policy. And the way the stock market has reacted has, has been pretty amazing, considering. Uh, you know, on Monday, we were 2% from the all-time forever top in the S&P. And just two Thursdays ago, we were within six points of that absolute tip top. So we got very close to making new records uh, against amazing, amazing headwinds that I've never seen in, in my lifetime. And even with all this, we still have the S&P up 15% and the NDX, the tech sector, is up 20% in 2019. So again, it comes down to... You know, if you can ignore what's happening around us, the noise, uh, that you're looking at the valuations based upon earnings, and we're going to get corporate earnings again here in another couple of weeks, and that's going to remind us of the fundamental facts of how much profit they're making. And again, we've got a low hurdle to overcome for the quarter uh, with a lot of uh, earnings guidance downward. So I think we can overachieve and continue to see this market move higher, again, because of the choice. Where is money going to go? Is it going to go into treasuries to get one and a half percent for 10 years? You know, you can do better with the S&P yield than that. And then there's obviously the stock market appreciation. I do not think the bull market is over. Hmm. I, um, I, I hear everything you're saying. I mean, it was it was pretty interesting to talk about the start of this this final quarter of the decade, seeing the worst performance um, since the fourth quarter of, of 2008. Um, and people right. who are optimistic on the markets have spewed all sorts of stats the, the last few days. I mean, they, they highlight that this particular quarter is typically the one 
where stocks are higher. I think on average, call it 2.5% in the fourth quarter. Okay. And if you look back over history for the Dow and the S&P, I mean, the majority of fourth quarters, you see positive performance. So it, it, it seems to your point like there are people who were betting uh, against stocks earlier this week but don't necessarily want to run away. Maybe it's because right. there's not a lot of alternatives. And it sounds like you're saying earnings is going to be the next catalyst to be watching for on whether or not market participants stay invested or not. Yeah, we get into this 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 pattern where every quarter when the earnings season ends, it seems like we get this extra bout of volatility because of the uncertainty and the you know the whispers and concerns start to creep in and, and overcome you know the fundamental facts. And then we get the reminder again, we're gonna get the banks, we're gonna get, you know, Wells Fargo had a breakout, we're gonna get uh, you know JP Morgan to kick off the earnings seasons, and the banks are gonna tell us they made five billion dollars or seven billion dollars or nine billion dollars in pure profit for the quarter, and people are gonna go, oh, okay, that's what this is about. It's not about the politics. And again, at any time, uh, you know, the, the, the government could claim a victory uh, with China and say, listen, we got a trade deal. It's done. It's great. It's the greatest deal we've ever had. And guess what? The market's stable and we're moving on again. Right now, the only thing that's, that's hurting us is uncertainty. Yes, the numbers have slowed. And looking at the payroll numbers today, they revised the last month up a little bit to, to compensate, I guess. Uh, it, 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 it takes care of what we uh, lost in the expectations for this month. So net, net, not a whole lot of change. But yes, we're going to continue to lower rates. And that's adding Red Bull to the punch bowl. You know, at some point, I don't know what point, at some point, you know, there's going to be something to pay for that. But in the meantime, I'm still a big believer in the stock market. If the S&P can get back above 2940, 2940 was the top in August. It hit four times. And then when it broke through there, it took off and nearly got to the all-time high. So let's see how that 2940 acts as a price pivot here over the next couple of weeks. And again, every single time the market sold off the last 10 years, it's rallied back and made new all-time highs. I'm not smart enough to say this time it won't. All right. Always good to get your take. Thanks very much, Alan. Red Bull for the punch Thank bowl. Thank you. I'm adding that one to my little uh, <laughs> book of sayings as well. Alan Nuckman, chief market strategist at Agora Financial, joining us from Chicago with the latest on the market reaction to that job.